All right, um, Acts 2, 42 and 43. steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in prayers and fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles so continually steadfast in apostles apostles are um, mature disciples they know who they are and their calling in Christ and they're full of, of God's power to move in signs and wonders. And this is what we all should be aiming for um, as we walk with Christ every day. Um, the fellowship is like what we're having right now. We're coming together, we're going to break bread and we're praying to the Lord. And this is what he desires us to do. Now fear came upon every soul, so the people seen that the apostles had the power of God and they moved in signs and wonders and were done through them. And that's what will start really revival. That's what we need. We need to people need to see the power of God in us as true mature disciples and moving in that will excite the people to see that God is moving in us in power and in truth and uh, this is happening all around the world now and it should be happening here too well it is happening in places but we've just got to um, we've got to seek God every day for this and uh, and asking for well for guidance and, and leading um, 1 Corinthians 10. <laughs> 16 and 17. Over there. Over there. Um, for the cup of blessings which we bless, it is not the communion of the book oh, sorry it is not the communion of the blood of Christ the bread which we break it is not the communion of the body of Christ so the bread represents obviously the body of Christ and this is what we do as we break the bread, honouring that body of Christ. And obviously the wine or the, the drink is representing the blood of Jesus. For we through through that we are one bread and one body, that we all partake of that one bread. As we take this together, we're all one. We're all becoming one in Christ as we take it in Christ. We take uh, his bread as, as part of his body, we become part of his body, and we become part of each other as one in Christ. And as we take the blood, we become the same as one in, in Christ. Uh, John 6. Fifty three to fifty eight. Number six, fifty three, fifty eight. And Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up in the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. 
He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live the cause of the Father, so he who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers ate the mammon, mammon, mammon uh, that are dead. He who eats his bread, eats this bread, will live forever. So, as Jesus says, most surely I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink this blood, you have no life in you. So obviously the life is in Jesus Christ as we partake of this in honour of Jesus. We eat this bread, represents his body and his blood, his life of, the, of, of, of uh, his body. We partake of this in, in, in representing and acknowledging Christ. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. So as we do this, we have eternal life in Christ because he, he lives for eternity. We live with him for eternity. I will raise him up in the last days. Well, we've been raised up in these days. It's been The last days have been ever since Jesus has ascended and is in heaven with, with the Father. Now we're in the last days and we're at the end of the last days. And... We uh, we do this in in, in honour of Him. <coughs> my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in Him. Many uh, uh, the followers or disciples, when Jesus said that, got offended, and they left. They didn't want to do this because to them this was too radical. Now, how could you do this? But obviously it was a symbol. God, Jesus was saying, you need to do this to represent me and do it in honour of me and in remembrance of me. As the living Father sent me, I live because of the Father and he who feeds on me will, will live because of me. So we feed on this every day or every Sunday and we do this in, in representing um, Jesus as life in him as is in us. This bread which is came down from heaven, which is Jesus, not as your fathers ate in mam the mammon, are dead now. As we eat of this, we will not die, we will never die, we'll have eternal life in Christ forevermore. And he who eats this bread will live forever. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this bread. And blood that you've given us so we do this in remembrance of you and we live with you forever what an honor what a, what a thank we're very thankful for that so um gina do you want to get up and anyone else wants to hand out the emblems <laughs>